What's up Bears fans? I'm Claire Niebergy with The Standard Sports. If you weren't at the men's game on Sunday afternoon, then what in the heck were you doing? Jared Dixon came out the hero, hitting the buzzer-beating half-court shot for the win over Illinois State, 66-65. Dixon said that as soon as the ball left his hands, he knew that it had a chance. Dixon ended the game with 13 points, Ryan Kreklow had 14, Josh Webster put up 11, and Julio Da Silva collected 17 points. Last week Wednesday, the Bears beat Southern Illinois for the first time since 2015. Final score 65 to 59. Dixon put up 19 points while Craig Lowe had a career high of nine rebounds. The Bears overcame the Salukis in the final minutes of the game, hitting key shots that they hadn't made all night. Missouri State is now 13 and 12 overall and seven and five in conference play. The Bears are now tied for second in the Valley alongside Drake and Illinois State. The men's team will travel to Evansville on Wednesday to take on the Purple Aces. This past Friday, the Lady Bears traveled to Southern Illinois where they defeated the Salukis 70 to 58. It was a tight race in the beginning as Missouri State led by just one at halftime, but a strong team effort put the Lady Bears out in front, a lead that they would not give back. Danielle Gitson had 19 points, Bryce Caleb came up with 16 points and 7 rebounds, while Jasmine Franklin collected a team high of 4 steals. The Lady Bears will host Illinois State this upcoming Friday at the Q at 7 p.m. The Lady Bears are now 10-0 in conference play and continue their 13-game winning streak. The softball Bears travel to Gulf Shores, Alabama over the weekend. They split their Friday games falling to Western Kentucky 8-0, then bouncing back to shut out South Alabama 4-0. On Saturday, the softball Bears knocked off number 16 ranked Auburn 4-3. The Tigers took an early lead, but the Bears answered, plating four runs. Stellar effort from both defense and pitching kept the Bears ahead. A few hours later, they collected a 7-4 win over Florida A&M. On Sunday, the softball Bears ended the Sand Dollar Classic 3-2 after falling to Louisiana Tech 8-4. The Bears fell behind early 5-0 but rallied late in the game. Missouri State gave up four runs on four errors as well as a three-run homer in the seventh to crush their comeback dreams. The women's track and field team continues to run all over records. Terrence Smiley matched her career record and set a new season best in the 16-meter dash with a time of 7.5 seconds. Jamila James collected first place as well as a career best in the triple jump with a mark of 12.66 meters. James broke the meet record on her first attempt and then again on her third. In the 60 meter hurdles, Chicago Baines earned a career best with a time of 8.67 seconds. The Bears have a full week of rest before they head to the Missouri Valley Indoor Conference Championships. In tennis action, the Missouri State women's team hosted a doubleheader on Friday, handing both Western Illinois and Creighton a loss. The tennis Bears collected six singles wins and four doubles wins. They will take on Southeast Missouri State this upcoming Friday night. And in baseball news, the Bears were ranked 24th according to Collegiate Baseball's preseason poll. Baseball America projected Missouri State to win the Valley. They also projected junior catcher Drew Mulis as player of the year and freshman shortstop Mason Hull as freshman of the year. Sophomore pitcher Connor Seckler was one of 75 players named on the National Collegiate Baseball Writers Association 2019 Stopper of the Year watch list. The Baseball Bears will debut this weekend at the Texas State Invitational. And that's what you missed and what to expect in Bears action. See you next week.